Hey everybody, I've decided to go ahead and do a my new Sephora box <clears throat> unboxing and show you everything that's in it. Um, as you can tell, I am all decked out. Me and my husband and my daughter are fixing to go to um, a Led Zeppelin tribute band with the Alabama Symphony Orchestra behind it, so it's kind of like a, a big deal. Um, because you know you can't see Led Zeppelin together anymore in Plant Page, maybe, but not anymore, not after John Bonham died. But anyway, who was the drummer? Um, I'm just going to go through this box and show you what's in it, and it's, it's really cool. Um, now don't be shocked. Y'all can look at me really good. See everything. Okay. It's not the way I look. I'm worried about you being shocked by. I'm going to put on my glasses because so I can read this information for you as we go through it. And my glasses, of course match my earrings and my outfit. So anyway, there's a box comes in. And this month it's called Ooh, that's bright. Wait a minute. There we go. Glow your own way. You can glow your own way. Glow your own way. This is hilarious. Fluid Mac song for the younger ones. Okay, what do we get? Let me I'm gonna go in order of the paper. You know they always send you a like a instruction thing or how you can possibly use the makeup and then right here they usually have yeah they'll have a uh card uh coupon Ooh, it's making me dark a card coupon that gives you 50 points more when you shop only in the store though it's not online which just kind of sucks and then you open it up and it kind of shows you what you got so we're gonna jump right in here okay I'm going to do it this way. Okay. The first one is the Glam Glow. Let me go. Show you. The Glam Glow. Ooh, it's shiny. That's the problem. Okay. There we go. There we go. Glam Glow. Glow Starter. Glow Starter. That sounds funny. Glow starter okay mega illuminating moisturizer and what's really cool about it and it's in the color nude glue nude glue new glow which i really think is really cool about it. i'm gonna read about it. what i think is cool though is that you know how i use the becca backlight all the time well in lieu of the becca backlight like let's say um well i can wear this anyway period but let's say i just wanted to wear uh the Becca backlight and that was all, you know, um, like when I'm going nude, this is it, because it's got your moisturizer, because I always go with the moisturizer, and it has the, the illuminating too, I mean, you can work with makeup, but also, for that reason I gave you, anyway, this is what it says, glow and tail, glam glow, glow starter, mega illuminating moisturizer, two-in-one moisturizer, and illuminizer, hydrates, blurs, and enhances any complexion with a light from within finish. The shine is on. The shine is now. This Hollywood favorite boosts the look of dry, dull skin with a light reflecting formula that gives a red carpet glow, while also helping to visibly plump and nurturing botanicals. How to apply? Apply evenly to face, being sure to massage thoroughly into the skin for one minute. Wear it alone or layered under foundation. Trend focus glow lotions. Cutting edge formulas like this are known as glotions, which are luminizing moisturizers that combine skin saving benefits of moisturizer with the instant glow of a highlighter. Now, that's interesting. Okay. I like it. I've already used it and it, it's great. It, it really is good. Okay, and now oh, we'll go into an impressions on it later. I'm sure all of y'all recognize this. I mean, I don't know too many people on the planet that have not ever used this. That's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, it says the original primer for indestructible all-day eyeshadow. And I'm going to open it up. And it's just got a little, a little tube right here of it in there. And the whole point of eyeshadow primer, this one says for 24 hours, create crease free. The whole point of eyeshadow primer, we've talked about this before, is to keep your, it helps to keep your um, 
eyeshadow on and it also helps it to keep from creasing. I don't know if you notice that sometimes the stuff will be like stuck like a line or whatever and also and it helps also to blend. But I'm going to go ahead and read this even but like my dupe right now for for this, see this is 20 something dollars. I hate I was going to give a number on these things. But this is 20 something dollars. I don't know if it's like 22 some life up bad now. Um I'll go back later and tell y'all. But anyway, um I was going to say about it. My, uh, I shouldn't do this while I'm, while I'm trying to promote this, but my, uh, primer right now I'm using is Milani, a Milani kind. Okay, this is what it says. Urban Decay Eyebrow Primer Shadow Original. Fan, fram, fan favorite bl brin, uh, primer blends into all skin tones and dries clear for a smoother eyeshadow application. Vibrant color and crease free all day wear. The shine is now. This legendary formula is one of the first eyeshadow primers and it's instantly gained a cult following when it was first released. Now it comes in multiple formulations that add shimmer, have age defying benefits or anti-aging benefits and are redness correcting. How to apply. Smooth on just a touch from your lash line to your brow bone and let dry for 30 seconds before applying eyeshadow. A little bit goes a long way. Pro, pro tip, eyeshadow primer can also be used on your under eye area to prevent your, your concealer from creasing, which I thought that was very interesting. So, I can tell you right now, this is definitely worth it if you've got the coin to buy it. Um, I don't <laughs> right now. So, okay, where are we going next? Let's see. Where are we going next? Ah. Okay. I've never heard of this one. And in fact, I've never got, well, I've, my roller lash and the reel comes from this company, but otherwise I've never got anything. It's called, it's by Benefit, like I said, it's called Watts, like, like 60 watt bulb. Watts up. I can't say it. Watts up. Watts up. Okay. And what this is, is a, it's kind of like a highlighter. Let me read to you what it says. This is what it looks like. Ooh, can you see it? It's got, there, they got little bulbs all around it. Can you see that? Little bulbs. And this is so cute. Anyway, and you open it up and it, it's like a stick. So you can tell the shiny of it right now. Okay. Now it says, Benefit Cosmetics What's Up Cream to Powder Highlighter. Best-selling highlighter defines facial features with luminous soft focus sheen and an easy to apply cream to powder foundation. The shine foundation formula, excuse me, formula of easy to apply cream to powder formula. Okay. The much adored highlighter dials up the radiance for any complexion and the swipe and go stick format makes it the perfect thing to keep in your purse or take along for your next trip. How to apply. Dab onto your cheeks, brow bones, and your cupid's bow, and then use a blending brush or to soften and finish the look. Trend focus. Strobing. Professional makeup artists love to use this for strobing and contouring technique for enhancing your facial features. To do it, just apply and blend this highlighter on the areas you want to emphasize down the center of your nose, across the apples of your cheeks, and on your cupid's bow. So, there's that. It, lo it's, it looks really cool. I've actually tried it out too, and it, it it's cool. Me and I can't get nothing in the camera. There we go. So that, this is really cool. That's what I'll tell y'all about getting these Sephora boxes. I mean, you get quality stuff. Everything in here is like the bomb. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you. Colors on it. Is the Josie Marin, I think that's how you say it. Surreal, surreal. Yep, Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. And that's what it looks like. Let me close that. And it's a little, little jar. Okay, it says the Josie Marin Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. Game changing makeup and skin care hybrid primes and finishes with a whipped formula for a luminous ethereal, ethereal, it's ethereal effect. 
This shine is now. This one-of-a-kind cream gives a skin a soft focus luminosity whether you use it as a primer or for a finishing touch. How to apply. As either the first step or the last step in your makeup routine, press into the skin with a gentle patting motion using your fingers or a sponge. We love how it looks tapped onto the cheekbones or use it on the for an all over glow. About the ingredients. This cream is enhanced with argan oil, which is one of the rarest oils in the world because it is made from fruit trees that only grow in one region of, of Morocco, and it takes 14 years to develop. Now, see, that's something I didn't know because I've got a lot of stuff with argan oil on it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, I put actually that on. I am so frazzled about getting ready for this concert that I forgot to put on my Becca backlight. So... After all was said and done, I put this on, and I think it's pretty much doing the same effect. If I can see it or not, as it normally would, as Becca would. So, I'm liking this. Okay. Now, got two more. Okay. This stuff is, the company is called Verb, and the product is called Ghost Oil, and it's and it's got argon again, shine and brilliance, and smooth. Ooh. And that's what it looks like. I can't really. It's got a little ghost on it somewhere. I don't know where it is. Here. Oh, there it is. Hee <laughs> Okay. Let me show you what this looks like. This is a generous, very generous, uh, what do you call it? Packaging. Very generous. It says verb on it. And, um, you just squeeze. It's like a couple of drops of oil. I have already used this probably three times since I received it. I used it after I took a shower and I put it in the ends of my hair because it says it defrizzes your ends of your hair and helps promote the you know healing of your hair. I used it yesterday to kind of tame my hair down, and I'm actually got it on today. I don't know if you know. I mean, my hair was really fuzzy because I had it all in braids, so it looked like it was crimped from the 80s. Anyway, <laughs> so I wanted to tone that down, so that's where that is right now. So, um, we're going to read this. It says, more soften than not. Verb ghost oil, a transparent res restorative, rest 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 restorative, okay, hair oil that smooths frizz and delivers sh shine for sleek, satiny hair from roots to ends. I want to tell you right now, I'm not stupid. I just have a hard time pronouncing words sometimes. I know the words, they say in my head, but for some reason I get tongue-tied. So, just want to let y'all know that. Okay, the shine is now. This shine-enhancing light to, light to the touch oil comes from Verb, an Austin-based line that is found, founded by a hairstylist who set out to create good-for-you salon-quality products. How to use. Concentrating on the ends, work two to three drops into your damp or dry hair. For friend, for fans of using it as the finishing, we're fans of using it as the finishing touch of any, for any hairstyle. So you can use either way. About the ingredients, Ghost Oil gets many of its benefits from blending. That includes Morana Acid Oil, which is native to India and has been cherished for centuries for its ability to moisturize and detangle and smooth hair. So, I'm going to show you all my hair. Ah! There we go. I think it looks good. It's not as crazy. Most of it's absolutely crazy. So, okay. Okay, and last but not least, I've got my um, perfume for the month, and it's Atelier Cologne. I can never say this. So, anyway, they come, they always come in these packages that are um, postcards. And then the real perfume's in here. So you always get a perfume every single time. And this one's called Clementine, California. They always have these different scents that they're trying to mimic. I'll probably wear this one tonight since, ah, if I like it. I have, I think I showed y'all a couple of weeks ago, or recently, I don't know, a box of samples of perfume. I'm telling you, I don't never got to buy a thing perfume ever again. Ugh, I can't open it. Oh, here we go. Come on out. Okay. It smells good. You know, Clementine is like a little orange. Open it up. I'm open. 
hate it when they're like this because I'm afraid I'm going to just like bloop everywhere. Oh yeah, that smells real good. Okay, that's going to be tonight's Zeppelin smell. And we'll put it in the corners. Try to put it in my... I already got my watch on, so that sucks. Okay, here we go. And a little bit in the top. Okay. Okay. We'll get that booger back in there. Whoop. I got some more, so I'll just put it in my hair. Okay. So that's everything from this month's Sephora. Like, and it's called Blow Your Own Way. And I, I, I like everything in it. There's nothing in it I don't like. I, like I said, I just tried this Josie Moran on, on my face, and it's doing great. I definitely, the Glam Glow with the oops, with the, um, what do you call it, the moisturizer and the glow in it at the same time. Glam Glow is very expensive though, so I'm just telling y'all. But it's really great. If you've got the coin to buy it, do it. The What's Up, cute name, works too. Really good. These stick, they're, they're coming out with a lot of stick highlighters. I don't know what's going on with that. but And then we have the Verb Ghost Oil. I'm digging. I don't know how much this is, but I am digging it. I think I'm going to get some. And, of course, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Like I said, one, the best, in my opinion, the best in the business. But you're going to pay money for it. But it usually lasts. But, um, so, I mean, I'll probably get it again. But anyway, I think that's it. So there's your bag for this month. This month of... And I'll put it in there and be gone. And I'll put my paper. I always, always, I have a box, too, of all the instructions for all the different ones in case I forget how to use them. So I keep all the instructions in another box in, yon, in yonder. Yonder being my bedroom. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I didn't feel like Yoshi and everybody need to be here today. So anyway, I just want to try to do stuff quick. So... Like I said, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Especially, I mean, seriously. I need to hold up some of these things so it will do a thingy. Oh, I don't have to. Anyway, I never get a good screenshot, so I have to make them. Anyway, thanks again. Bye.